Yeah. I don't even care that I used up all my ammo because I'll get all of it back eventually. Oh yeah, because it's the new stage. And it's a brand new world where we soar to the heavens because we drill our path to whatever. And I don't even have a drill because that was three games ago. But, oh look at that, we got a split path. And we also have what a lot of people say is the best uh, music and also a trap. So... It gets zero points because they put a trap there. But this, yeah, I, this music definitely has grown on me quickly because I never really remembered it for sure in um, the original, um, when I originally played this because reasons. Yeah, they have no defense, so that's pretty awesome. And what's not awesome is seeing the uh, semi-invisible uh, platforms. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a jerk move. Um, how did he do this? Did he send... Nope, okay, you had... Yeah, I remember that this is also kind of where they kind of had really jerk enemy placements. Like, this is right... Okay, actually, those die in one hit, so that's actually kind of okay. But, um, like, by itself... Why did I do that? Don't know why they need to force uh, rush use there. Um... Okay, I guess I couldn't grab it then. Sure thing, game. So, I think that when I originally played this, I was thinking, okay, where is base? Are we going to have a round three or something? But ultimately, I would eventually find out that no, uh, you're done fighting base. Because he has to go search for his answers. Face himself. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, this is actually also the first and only time that they use these uh, count rocket bomb platforms. I don't even know what to call them. Come on. Yeah, uh, do they hurt me? Yes, they do. Up. Oh. I got wedged in between, and that was no checkpoint. Really, game? You know, we were looking really good, and then we hold that kind of crap is just not pleasant. You put a Met in a bad position. You put a rocket platform that's so close to the ceiling that you can actually just zip yourself off and die. That's just really bad. Oh, I actually can dodge that. Okay, nice. I wasn't even sure if that was possible, but I guess it is, so good to know, probably. Okay, actually, I should just start using... Uh, actually, no, I, I need to use this here because there's platforms and spikes. It's not a good combination. Um, wow. They die to one thunderbolt. These are the worst... Uh, sh uh, shield, shield attacker? No, sniper Joe's ever, because they die to the worst enemies ever. Don't move. Don't move. There we go. Uh, why did that sound like I was actually um going places? Actually, wait. Let's go this way. Um, so there's a couple paths I can go up top, or I can go down bottom. Uh, I'm going to go up top because that might be a checkpoint, but might not be. And there's sort of nothing of relevant use up here because, hey, guess what? We got 
a Yoko block section. Um, I'm going to wait for it to go up. And we're going to skip every bit of it because I don't know if there was a checkpoint or not. And hey, we got all the tanks in the world. And yeah, we do have to wait for that one because otherwise we can't really get through. Also, Slash Claw does not work against the dinos great as you would think. So that's kind of unfortunate. Now, if we went to the bottom path, we would have had an underwater section kind of all Bubble Man and uh, Wily 3 of Mega Man 2, where we have the uh, wall of spikes. But, um, oh, we also have the uh, Kuragarne uh, mini boss from Burst Man stage. So there's that. Also, uh, uh, Hanya machine, Hanya Ned squared, and he shoots a very psychedelic laser. Oop. Um, let's see. Do I have the e tanks? Eh, I'm not gonna do that. Ooh. Okay. So, um. There's two ways you can actually take out Hanyanez Squared, and that's to either uh, ride its missiles, or, well, actually, you don't even need to ride the missiles. Because you can just do that. And as long as you stay as far to the right, he, you will not get hit by his uh, psychedelic laser thing. <laughs> Otherwise, you can go all gutsy and then just use... Um, ow! Damn. Ugh. Something bit my neck. I don't know why that happened. But, um, the way, uh, in the, uh, Kirby challenge that you would fight this boss is, um, you would just take risky strats and you would... Yeah, you do that. You have to fire and then slide immediately. And then... Because the slide is so awesome in this game because you just um, kind of just go at like twice the miles per hour when you slide. Well, no, that doesn't make any sense. But um, yeah, so we know the drill. We're going to go to the skull and we're just going to be faked out and all that good stuff. Yep, we just head straight to the cellar. And Wily 4, it's a pretty decent track. You just don't I swear I've played this game before, but actually it doesn't really matter. So, um, this is, consider this a good handicap, I should say. Um, but, yep, it's boss rush time, and um, we're going to be using weakness weapons, because some of them I didn't actually use. Oh, actually, there's some other things I have to show, kind of like some Easter eggs. So he still does the same thing. But, um, yeah, if you use the freeze cracker on him, he'll look at you like... Are you an idiot or something? And then you'll just be on your way and nothing will happen of use. But if you use the, um, um, what's it called? The, uh, the junk shield, you will, uh, do some pretty, uh, heavy damage. Unfortunately, the icicles don't hurt you afterwards. But he's a pretty cool boss. Uh, I should stop with the puns there. Uh, is this... Yeah, okay, this is Slash Man. So, as far as I know, he's got two weaknesses. You can use the Scorch Wheel, which, honestly, I would not prefer. Don't. Don't you dare. <laughs> yeah, don't use a scorch wheel on him. It's just so unwieldy, and you are just a sitting duck because that happens. But I've now officially gotten hit by him. Don't dare. Um, I don't think there's any special Easter egg. Oh yeah, most of the bosses kind of have a reaction if you use their weapon against you. And yeah, I, how did I not get? Oh, I got hit there. Yeah, if you use the slash claw, nothing of no 
changes. Um, where is it? Oh, whew. nice. Sniped him in midair. Cool. Um, who's next? This is okay. Junk man. Did he have an Easter egg? I don't think he did. And I already showed his weakness, so... Yeah, it does nothing. Oh, and if you don't jump, you get stuck. Um... Yeah, let's just... Oh. Yeah, if you don't hit him immediately, he'll just kind of... Uh... Uh-oh. Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> I don't think I'd seen that. We decapitated him. That's what happens to robots when they explode and nade. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Cloud Man. I don't think he had anything special. Oh, actually, he, you can do really good damage to him. Oh, okay. Enough of the rain. We've had enough rain around here. I probably should include some sort of clip that just kind of montages everything, but... No thanks. Still not full health. Okay. Um, is this burst... No, this is Turbo Man. Okay. Uh... What did he have? Uh, anything? Oh yeah, this is what happens if you get hit by the Scorch Wheel. Um... Ugh. Yeah, uh, as far as how you can determine when he attacks and all that, you have to wait for the revs and then the... You do want to at least wait. Because otherwise you might be jumping the gun and then he'll just do really bad things to you. Um, let's see, can I do it? Junk! You just got sent to the junk keep. I don't have any sort of witty answer to that one. Okay, is this Spring Man? Okay, now, he has some interesting uh, things that happen. So, what happens if we use Thunderbolt? Uh, well, we can miss, for one. Yeah, we just magnetize him, and, um, that, oh, why did I shoot him again? That was kind of stupid. Okay, now, if you do this right, you can keep him from, uh, going up to attack, and, yeah. Oh, I remember what I was going to say. So, um, I mentioned how uh, Turbo Man has a quick kill. Well, um, Spring Man also has a quick kill, but it requires um, kind of having the same sort of timing, although I don't know if it... There's only two bosses where you can actually quick kill. That's Turbo Man and Spring Man. The others you can't because the entry to the boss room is either slightly different or because you can't do it in boss rematch. Like, you can't do it to Shade Man at all because, um, did he have a thing? Oh, Wild Coil. Um, actually, thinking about it now, I didn't actually use Wild Coil on, uh, what's his name? So, shoot. Um, where's, oh, I can demonstrate the Noise Crush. That, uh, has a interesting effect that I missed. Okay, that did nothing at the moment. Oh yeah, he can just shoot it again. And he can just keep shooting it. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste any time with Shade Man because... Yeah. Um... Oh yeah, I can... Just, yep, freeze crackers. 
Uh, last boss is Burst Man, I think. Did... I don't think he has any sort of reaction, because he's allergic to most weapons anyway. Now, his main weakness is actually supposed to be Scorch Wheel, which is bizarre if any... Where's the Danger Wrap? Um, yeah, it does nothing. Um... Okay, uh, Scorch Wheel, which I find really weird considering that, like, yeah, the bubbles will just block him. Unless you do that, and I'm already out of ammo, so it's like, who cares? I do find it weird that the bubbles are actually going up almost immediately. Oh yeah, they it depends on like where you are because they'll try and go up with you. Also kind of forgot how long this fight was and I don't remember actually seeing him use that except in the beginning. But, yeah, that's uh, all the Robot Masters. Pretty decent bunch, but there are some kind of quirks to each one. Uh, I don't want to do this. Actually, I've got a weapon tank, so it's like, it really makes no difference. Eh, whatever. So, yeah, there's not much in between, so we don't have to worry about freaking... Wow, that is a... Uh, sound and a half, but we do have to worry about slow walking. Don't mind the top that's at the top of his uh, skull machine. So, um, Wily Machine 7 is actually relatively easy because um, you get to see amusing faces. You just have to be aware of the spikes that are on his chin. And then you have to worry about these annoying uh, things that I think are indestructible. Ow. So it's like, don't even attack them because they just explode on their own. Uh, Wily is shockingly weak to oh, the uh, um, Thunderbolt. And you can't shoot from behind because, well, obviously. The attack you want to see him use is this, and you don't want to see him use the uh, um, skull token things. I don't know what to call those things, because Magic the Gathering. But, yeah, closing the shutter will definitely save you from an explosion, Wily. But he didn't learn, so he's dead. And so are a lot of people that fight this boss for the first time, because this is by far one of the hardest capsule bosses ever. Uh, that was not how you dodge that. So, he has this attack, which, um, sadly, I'm not dodging it particularly well. Uh, shoot. But, yeah, there is a way you dodge this, it's just I kind of don't remember, but once you do it, then the boss becomes particularly easy. Unfortunately, I always just kind of assume that I can't dodge with enough room. <laughs> okay, I could have probably had that one, but that's why you also stock up on a ton of E-Tanks. And... Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was decent. And he didn't use the thing. Okay. Uh, let's hurry up and get that again. Yeah, Wily is now giving me the probably the worst spawns ever. Yeah, if you need to get hit by anything, take a hit from the Thunderbolt things. Uh, I should have looked into this first because, yeah. Okay.
Nice. That was the best spawn possible. Come on, get in the other corner. Ah, uh, I... I don't know when he actually does this thing. Nope. Oof. Come on. Where are you? Alright. Okay, so I guess if he's if you're far enough away, he will actually attack you. Nope. The fortunate thing... Ooh, uh, I don't know if that's going to hit, but I better not take any chances. Yeah, the biggest problem I have with this Wily boss is that he takes a lot more damage from things that really shouldn't. Uh... Okay, um, well, guess I get to use a weapon tank, too. I had a lot easier time fighting Wily before, I just don't know... I just didn't prepare well. I mean, I'm just kinda... Uh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Come on. Oh god, I don't think I have enough, probably. Come on. Uh oh. Oh wow, I almost died. Okay, I have a super tank left. Come on. Yeah, that's the big problem is if you get frozen, then you're kind of in trouble. Ow. I think I've got this though. Uh, if he doesn't do that... Oops! Come on! Oh yeah, you, you can do two damage, duh, I'm stupid. But yeah, he kind of puffy faces and his capsule explodes, finally. After four E-Tanks later, that's kind of embarrassing on my part, but we did it. Without dying, fortunately. Okay, I give up. Sorry about all the trouble. I'll go quietly. And that's kind of him bowing down, sort of. I don't trust you, Wily. I'm gonna do what I should have done years ago. And watch him get all meta, because, you know. But, unfortunately for Mega Man, the law of robotics, which we sort of learn about, and, yeah, we can't... Okay, now which version is this? I am more than a slow-moving robot thing. Die, Wily! Exclamation points. I find it weird there's only two, but... But too late because somebody activated the self-destruct button. I'm pretty sure Wily said on timer, and he gets collided with beams and kind of survives, probably. Doink! <laughs> Must have been one of Otto's loose scroll screws that he lost. And trouble just teleports him out. Kind of weird. Too late, Mega Man! He who hesitates is lost. We shall return. Yeah. That's too bad because now we get uh, a few more games after this in mixed quality, but we will get there in time. Oh, wow. I don't remember the explosion sounding like this, but... Yeah, um, that's Mega Man 2, or 7, and fortunately we get the good Wily, or the ending credits thing, where the base just explodes into a flaming phoenix. That I mean, that's seriously what it looks. The, on the side are the wings, and then you got the head in the middle, and while well, actually looking at it, it almost looks like it's the devil, if you look at the top dark flames, because it also has eyes and the horns and stuff, but... Um, yeah, Mega Man 7. So, this was one of my favorite games back then. And we can see more walking in the background because we don't look at explosions. And we go kind of credits in between the Robot Master calls. 
Oh, I didn't think Junkman was 50. I actually would have thought they would have went Burst Man because I kind of thought they went in order, but it doesn't matter. Uh, as far as what I think about Mega Man 7 now, um, there are some bizarre design choices. I think it's mostly later in the game that I just didn't agree with. Oh, I never showed the bottom path of uh, Shade Man. Not, I mean, after you defeat Pro Man, that is. Because that one has a dark room where you... And it also has a, some instant death spikes, which is a room I didn't like at the beginning when I first played it because I didn't realize Van Poomkin could actually be killed in two different ways. So I ended up getting the bottom path all those times until one case I think I either got the path on the right or I thought, oh, maybe the Thunderbolt will do something and it just lights the room up briefly. But if you have the Scorch Wheel, you can light candles. But again, the Scorch Wheel sucks, so... I don't really care about it. Speaking of the weapons, now, I would say for the most part they're all, or most of them are good. I'd say maybe at least five of the eight are awesome in some form. Well, okay. So you have like the top tier, like the Slash, call, slash Claw, the um, Thunderbolt, the Noise Crush, and the Junk Shield. Then you have the mid tier, which would be uh, the danger wrap and probably the freeze cracker. And I guess you could probably say the wild coil because it at least sort of does things. It is a little awkward to use, but it's not the scorch wheel, which I just find completely useless because it gimps your movement in mid air. And it also seems like when you use it, it kind of like weighs you down, so it screws up your jump. So, I mean, of the weapons in this game, I would, yeah, say uh, Scorch Wheel is the worst by far. I mean, some people will say Wild Coil, but I can't say that. And it's kind of a shame because it's like, Turbo Man and Scorch Wheel just seem a little odd. Which might be why I would say Turbo Man would be probably my least favorite stage overall in this game. Other than that, it's like, well, I mean, the transforming thing's kind of cool, so it's like I can give him credit on that. And I think that was the last Robot Master. Oh! Hey, Base in Trouble, what are you doing here? Contemplating? Or preluding to the X series, which uh, actually came started before this game, but we can blame Capcom all staff. No, we don't worry about that. I don't remember seeing this credit sequence much before. Totally wily, or it might be. Uh, sort of hinting at uh, Mega Man 8, which is... Yeah. Yeah, I don't really remember this ending much, mostly because uh, the Anniversary Collection, like, 15 years ago, kind of screwed up because they didn't actually include the credit sequence. They just had a black screen, which is very lame. And I don't know why... Rush has his jaw open so openly. Oh yeah, uh, Fateful Showdown, that's our achievement. 95 from Capcom, and uh, that's, that's not a serial number there, that is a password to a thing, which is of some interest, but I'm not really going to worry so much about it because it's kind of bare bones. It's kind of like a Street Fighter fighting game, but you don't have much options. Uh, but yeah, that was Mega Man 7. Really good game, but it kind of veered off a bit near the end, and kind of with my inability to dodge. So, yeah, um, he... 
people do say that Wily Capsule 7 is learnable, and that is true. It's just I didn't think to learn it in some cases. I could dodge some, but not all. So uh, next time we will have probably Mega Man 8, and that will be meme-worthy, I suppose. Just, I guess, don't expect everything out of that one. So um, I'll see you then.